Good morning. Thank you. The gym was so empty on this Sunday, it was beautiful. And anyway, we started on the assisted pull-up machine. Now, I was always someone to do banded pull-ups, but when you're using a band, the assistance isn't consistent the whole way through the movement, if that makes sense. So I have started loving the assisted pull-up machine when I'm not doing lap pull-downs. So this one, I think I was doing about six or seven reps for four sets and I was working at about an RPE of seven or eight. So I probably had a couple reps left in the tank at the end of each set. I also feel like someone needs to count how many times I did thumbs ups in this video. It was ridiculous. Please count it and let me know in the comments. Anyways, then we moved on to the seated row. I can't remember how many reps I did, doesn't even matter. Did about four sets again. I've been doing four sets on most exercises these days just because I have spent most of my life doing only three and I feel like I can do a little bit more. Then we moved on to the bench press. My little arms are finally getting stronger and so I managed to do 30 kilos for five reps and then I managed to get six reps on one set. Again, four sets, same each time. Oh, bit of a struggle, but we're getting there. We're getting there. After the, <laughs> there's another thumbs up. After the chest press, we went over to the free weights and we did overhead press. I like doing single arm just because it helps me to actually use my shoulder and not just my traps if that makes sense like use my deltoids not just my traps i find when i do both arms at once my traps and my neck just get really tight i feel like i can control that a bit better when i'm doing single arm so i think i did about eight each side and then i did four sets again <laughs> I really struggle with overhead press, basically everything upper body, my little arms are very little and I just wanted to take this opportunity to remind you that ugly faces and like sweating, it's all normal in the gym. <laughs> yeah, those ugly faces, it's all so normal, don't be afraid of it, don't be like embarrassed or worried about anyone looking at you, it's part of the process. Then my last couple of exercises, I moved on to the tricep extensions and bicep curls with the rope on the cable machine. And don't be afraid to switch your weight mid set if you have to, like that was way too heavy and I knew that I wasn't gonna get enough out of it. So I switched to a lighter weight mid set and just kept going. Don't be afraid to switch it, make it heavier if it's too light. Anyway, I love supersetting bicep curl and tricep extensions because it's just a really easy way to hit, hit the accessory work nice and quickly and just finish the workout with that. So these were my last couple of exercises and then my arms were done for the day. You guys, I completely forgot to come back and film anything today. We went to church, we got some lunch, we did our grocery shop, our laundry, all that stuff, and I just completely forgot about it. There was a few things I thought I would mention. If you watched my last lower body day with me vlog, then you would have seen that I had been feeling really sick in the mornings and not feeling great, and 
trying to work out what would make me feel better basically I found that an up and go is actually perfect so as you saw that's what I've been having I haven't been feeling sick I feel like I just have to be very mindful of how hard I push myself and when I start feeling any kind of dizziness or like just not 100% I just kind of like pull it back a little bit and go a little bit easier on myself but I've been feeling heaps better so that's pretty much it Honestly, short and sweet today. I just thought that I would remind you, because I'm feeling very sore from my lower body day yesterday, my hamstrings are so, so, so sore, and this means that I'm not gonna be able to train properly tomorrow, which was my plan. And normally I wouldn't do like three days in a row, but I missed all that, so you know what? It's not a big deal, it doesn't even matter. I just thought I would remind you that the goal of working out is not to get sore, and getting sore or feeling really sore after a workout isn't, a sign that it was a great workout. When you get sore, it's because your muscles were not used to it, it was something really different, or you pushed yourself way harder than usual. That isn't always a good thing. You want your you want your workouts to be challenging, yes, but challenging in a really consistent way. Like pushing it that tiny bit further every week. It shouldn't be your goal to get sore every single time because it can affect your training the days afterwards. So just a really important thing to remember. I know people love to feel sore after a workout. They're like, oh, it feels like I did something. It's not the goal, you know, it's probably okay if it happens a couple times or, you know, every month if you start a new program or something like that, but it's not the goal to get sore. So don't aim for that. Don't push yourself to the limits just because you want to feel really sore. Focus on consistency, challenging yourself just by pushing it that little bit further. Nothing that is going to make you crazy sore and mean that you can't train the next day. So that's my little tidbit today. I hope you enjoyed my upper body program. If you would like to get your hands on PDF prints of my, my own exercise programs, I will be uploading them to my website. If you wanna be the first to know about that, you can sign up to my email list, follow me on Instagram, keep in touch, and I will let you all know when they're available. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Have an amazing week. And don't forget to train up body. <laughs>